It's now been 12 months since we first started making this batch of pear wine. It is now time to do a taste test. Let's find out if what we made <laughs> was worth making. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now this pair of wine video was one of those videos I had decided to do as part of a live stream. In this live stream, I figured I needed something quick and simple to do, so why not do a pair of wine video? So I incorporated that, and now 12 months later, it's now time to do the final tasting. So let's see what we've got. Now a few notes before we pop the cork and find out what we've got. DIY fermentation pear wine, born to 2021 AVB 10.5 percent and it's been pasteurized. Uh, the wine is clear. Uh, there's no sediment on the bottom uh, which is a good thing because if you let it sit in the cardboard long enough generally speaking most of your sediment's going to fall out and beyond that I really don't know what to say. I haven't uh, I haven't tasted this yet. Uh, last time I actually put my tongue on a little bit of it was when I uh, did the back sweetening, just well, during the bottling process. It's not like I, this out the way, it's not like I poured a glass and you know, down to down, is it sweet enough? You know, that sort of thing. It's kind of like a little Dixie cup filling up just a eighth or a sixteenth of an inch and making my adjustments based on that. But that was months ago, so I have no idea what this tastes like right now. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's find out. Let's see. Huh. Hmm. Let's uh, let's try the the new. Ooh, it's one of those tight corks. There we go. <laughs> uh, I will say this, even though I have now switched to a different uh, type of natural cork, it's one of the few ones that of the old batch that I've used where I have not actually broken it. However, it did start to crack a little bit while pulling it out, out of the bottle. Don't have that problem with so much with these, but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm still tempted to use natural uh, artificial corks going forward. But what have we got? Okay. Small glass because it's now early in the morning for me. First notes. First thing I first thing I'm noticing is that even though it's only 10.5% ABB, the first note that I'm hitting is more alcohol followed by very light pear aroma. It's got a very light, light smell to it. Yep, alcohol then pear. <clears throat> but, I mean, it's already been noted that it's clear. But the aroma and the color and the clarity are all pale in comparison to what it actually tastes like. Is it something I want to drink? Hmm. Let me try that one again. The pear flavor is, is light. It's very light. 
I mean, it's 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 there, but it's 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 very light. It's a very light uh, pear aroma, pear flavor. This was back sweetened to a semi-sweet uh, wine, which I think is good. At 12 months, I can say probably that there is still a light little bit of harshness on the back end at 12 months, um, which suggests to me that probably a, a bit more in the way of aging for this particular uh, batch of wine is probably in order. But if I were to go in rummaging through my wine closet and pulling out a bottle of wine at this moment, at 12 months, do a, do a blind... <laughs> <laughs> grab one, just grab a bottle and see what I've got. I would not be disappointed if this is the one that I picked. Um, which I'm going to simply say after this sip. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at this one at all. Uh, this is definitely a bottle I'm going to finish up today. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I could pair it with, with what I've got in the refrigerator and what I'm planning on eating today. Uh, but still, no, I am not disappointed in this one at all so far. Uh, I might want to try this as a mead at some point. Uh, what I will probably end up doing is that I'll save, try and save at least one or two bottles of, of the wine and make a pair of and make another pair of mead, because I've got a project coming up where I am going to be using pears in a mead, but it's got a few other ingredients that I would probably add uh, for just a simple pair of mead. Uh, but yeah, my recommendation is to keep this video fairly short. Uh, pear wine works, uh, the flavor is light. If you let it uh, sit in the cardboard long enough, it will come I'm not, I'm not going to say that this is like crystal clear or anything like that. I mean, if you look at it hard enough in the right light, <laughs> you can see a, a, a tiny faint amount of haze. But you have to go looking for it, you know, to find it. So, yeah, I'm going to simply say that in terms of the wines that I make, uh, this one, yeah, I'll make this one again. Uh, another, another one gallon batch to be on the safe side. A one gallon batch of, of pear wine, a one gallon batch of pear made and a uh, side-by-side -side comparison and uh, see which one I like best. But no, I'm not mad at this one at all. So again, very short video, uh, pair of wine, one year, especially made during a live stream, which was a kind of a rush job at best. Uh, but have you made it this way? Yeah, I like it. So I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, uh, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons. Also, hey, Become a member, help support this channel, or Patreon to really help support this channel. Beyond that, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.